Hey S'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to Morse Code. This is the Sony ZV-1 camera for content creators and vloggers. I bought this when it first came out for MSRP of $699, about 700 bucks plus tax. See, I've been a Sony Cybershot fan for a very long time. They are excellent little cameras. I absolutely love the Cybershot cameras, but I stopped upgrading a few generations back because they switched the lens. So for example, an RX100 Mark VI has a 24 to 200 millimeter F2.8 to F4.5 lens. The older generations, they had a 24 to 70 millimeter f1.8 to f2.8 aperture lens. I had absolutely no need for a high zoom lens, but a wider aperture, that's what I needed to vlog. So I waited and I waited and I waited even longer and they finally brought back that lens in the vlogger camera. And the angel sang hallelujah because it was a day of reckoning. I was so happy about it. See, the reason I wanted that wider aperture setting was for those pretty blurred backgrounds that you can get in photos, as well as to get more light into the lens for darker shots because I found myself recording vlogs sometimes late at night or in inside places where there was not a lot of light and it would look grainy and the video would just not look very good. So I kept hesitating to buy any of the newer cyber shots until the ZV-1 came along. Now, while the ZV-1 is similar to the cyber shot cameras, this one is made specifically with vloggers in mind and it's almost perfect for that, almost. There's like one thing that I don't like, but I actually fixed it. So now it's basically perfect for my uses. So this camera, features a 20.1 megapixel one inch sensor. It's back illuminated. So that means that the photodiodes come before the wiring. So there's no light obstruction from the wiring layer. And the camera is very fast. So whenever I'm using this for my top down shots, close up videos of products that I'm reviewing, you can see my table surface and then you see my hand and I bring a product up into the camera. It focuses on the closest subject really, really fast. And that's great for efficiency since I don't have to wait for the camera to refocus every time I move my hands and it looks more professional. Now I usually set my studio ZV-1, that's the one I have in my hands here, pointed down at the table. And then I just flip out the lens, whichever way I want since it's a fully articulating lens. So for example, there you guys are. You're seeing yourself in the camera. How cool is that? And it looks absolutely perfect whenever I'm looking through it. It's very, very easy to navigate and very easy to use. Now, generally vloggers would use this to see a live preview of themselves whenever they are shooting themselves front and center if you're doing that vlogger style. So I can see myself in the camera just like this. Now in the ZV-1, there are two different bokeh modes to defocus the background or make it clear instantly. All you have to do to use that is press the button on the top at the corner, which is located right up there. This is super useful if I'm recording a subject and I need to anonymize the people who happen to show up in the background quickly. Like if I'm recording at DEF CON, at DEF CON, you're supposed to keep everybody anonymous. That's a rule of the convention. So I could easily use that bokeh to get my shot while I'm at the con without having anybody in the background end up being in camera without consent. It works well too and the bokeh does not look too computer generated like you would often see in smartphone photos. It looks more natural. There's also a product showcase setting. This is also a setting made for content creators. This will quickly transition the focus from a face to an object in front of the lens, even if your face is still in the shot. So this is useful if you wanna keep your face in frame, but not keep the autofocus locked onto your face. For this one, if you wanna activate it, all you have to do is press the trash can icon on the back and then start recording your movie. You cannot turn it on while you are recording your movie. One thing to note though, it does turn off steady shot. So you should only use this on a tripod because it will be pretty shaky if you're trying to use this without a tripod. And again, in this this case, it's really instant and it's natural. So I can use this like for my Sailor Moon videos because I'm often shooting just on the little vlogger camera and I wanna show something front and center and be able to let it focus on the thing and then come back to my face really quickly. And it doesn't stutter whenever it's trying to find the subject, which is also really cool because sometimes you do see that kind of focus stutter whenever it's trying to figure out what it's supposed to be focusing on. And that can get pretty annoying in video. So this is with product showcase off. And if I show a product over here, 
it is still going to be focusing on my face. Unless I move this into frames so that it's blocking my face. If I move it out, it automatically focuses on my face. Now this is with product showcase on. So first I am focused in the frame like I normally would be. And if I bring something into the frame to show in front of the camera, it's still going to focus on this, even if my face is still within the frame. I love that, it is so cool. <laughs> Another option you have when shooting on the ZV-1 is touch tracking. So you touch the subject in the LCD screen because yes, it is a touch screen and whatever you touch will be tracked in the lens for focus. There's also a soft skin effect that you can use. It can be turned on in the settings, but it's going to give your skin a softer look, which some people like, some people don't. If you have blemishes like I tend to do, especially right now wearing masks and makeup, then yes, I'm going to have blemishes. It's really nice to have that soft skin effect. Whenever it comes to other other important features. Yes, you can change the exposure. There's this cool effect called Face Priority AE, that's for auto exposure. That will keep your face exposed even if there's dim lighting or you are backlit. There's also a built-in ND filter to control bright lighting situations too. Now you probably already noticed I have a dead animal sitting on top of my camera and there's a reason for that and it's the microphones. So I wanna get into audio options, but first check out these other ways that you can support the work that I do. So I recently tested recording audio straight to this device in two different settings. One of those was in downtown Denver with lots and lots of noises going on in the background. Welcome back, Denver. Yeah. See how the audio is. I'm uh, social distancing and also checking out Larimer Square. And I'm testing my new vlogger camera. Yay! I'm so glad it's not crazy. I know. Yeah, I was too. Welcome back, Denver. hours. The sun is shining behind me. I'm curious how this camera does as far as lighting my face because all the reviewers were saying that it tracks your face, it changes the lighting, yay. Ooh, eye show. How's it look, y'all? Let me know in the comments. Okay, we got a whole charcuterie board, y'all. Look at that good old charcuterie. You could take the girl out of the south, but you can't take the south out of the girl. That's true. I found the bear. I found the bear. And the other one was right here in my studio shooting a video for my Sailor Moon YouTube channel linked down below. I'm just gonna wear this around the house. My husband's gonna be like, what are you doing? And I'll just be like, I'm cosplaying our cat. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, you guys. Oh my God. This is my favorite thing that I've unboxed so far. I love it so much. I love this. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I have to stand up and show you it. Oh, y'all. I love this. It is, look at this. Isn't that cute? Oh my God. So cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. I have to take it off though, because it's really hot in this room. Oh, it's staticky. Oh my Lord. How's my hair? Now this is a much more quiet controlled setting where I only have the fans from my lights in the background and otherwise I just have to like pause if there's a loud truck driving by. But other than that, it's quite controlled so I don't really have to worry about anything, uh, which makes it very easy to record on pretty much any microphone that I own. But in both cases, I was very impressed with the quality of the audio. It's not going to be as good as a lavalier, which you will see right here that I'm currently wearing 
recording, but it does well enough. There's a three capsule directional microphone and it does include this windscreen, which is this little dead animal, but there is also a 3.5 millimeter mic jack and there's a multi-interface shoe. So you can use an external microphone if you want to and just carry this around, which means you got a lightweight vlogger companion. It's so easy. It can record high bitrate 4K videos, no pixel binning. As far as speed of shooting, you've got internal shooting for time-lapse videos, and you can also shoot in super slow motion, high frame rate, up to 960 FPS, that's 40 times. There's also 24 FPS fast continuous shooting with AF and AE tracking, and it's really easy to hold. In fact, you've seen me hold it up and down in this entire video. It's easy to maintain in one hand and not have it be super shaky or anything because it is relatively lightweight and it has a nice grip on the side if you do wanna shoot like a vlogger does. One of the nice things too is if you flip out your lens, you can set it to automatically turn on when you flip your lens out. And then you just press the very big red button on top to start recording like I just did. So it's really easy to shoot, really easy to record with it, and it's very easy to see what you are recording because it's got that nice lens right next to it. And as you can see, the auto exposure is working really, really diligently given that I have a bright light behind me. And this is still giving me really great quality even though there's tons of backlighting right now. There's also a front-facing tally light, which is also called a record light for non-studio terminology that can easily let you see if you are recording or not. So if I turn this on right now, I'll put it in focus of my camera, you will see a little red light come on right next to my thumb. And that's the tally light. So you automatically know like if you run out of battery, you don't even have to have the screen flipped out. You just automatically know that it's recording or it's not recording. So Wi-Fi is built in for file transfer or remote controls as well as Bluetooth, which I use to connect to a grip tripod, which came with this as a like vlogger bundle. Connecting was a breeze. Honestly, the Bluetooth does not really eat up that much battery life. So I just leave it on all the time just in case I'm going to use the grip for anything. And speaking of battery life, I also wanted to mention I have been able to make this thing last for an hour straight recording 4K footage with no stops whatsoever. Now you would think that it would overheat, but you do have to go into the settings to allow it to record without overheating. This is under the toolbox settings menu. You go to setup to page and then you change the auto power off temp setting to high and that will allow you to record for a long time without it overheating and turning off within like five or ten minutes of recording 4k it runs off the same type of batteries as the rx100 cybershot line so i didn't have to buy a bunch of new batteries because i just kept the ones from my older camera i've already invested in those batteries so i didn't have to replace them if i didn't want to but i do have one big gripe about this camera though when you put it on a tripod you cannot open the battery compartment so anytime you need to change out your battery, you have to remove it from the tripod, open the compartment and put in a new one. That's because the thread for the tripod is directly connected to the door for the battery. So first I used my iFixit toolkit to just remove the door completely. So I could just plug in a little USB powered battery into it and have it lasting forever and ever or however long I needed, which was great. And I've got that linked below, but also I found this amazing camera base that allows me to have a cold shoe extension mount on the bottom and oh my lord i love this thing so much so props to my friend ayaz over at cnet for throwing this link my way it's on amazon and it's um life-changing because now i have a tripod mount on the side and i have nine here i have so many options it's just wonderful i love this stupid little addition it was like 10 or 12 bucks totally worth it. And the USB battery that I use, yes, it has to be plugged into a USB outlet, but it's, it's a battery. It plugs straight into the battery compartment and I never have to worry about running out of battery whenever I'm shooting in my studio. I, I love this setup. It is so good. So I guess I should mention that um, I ended up buying two of these cameras. Yes, I did. I did not get these sent to me from Sony. I did not get these for free. They weren't gifts. I bought two of them. One is used in my studio for my Sailor Snubs channel or for top-down shots on my table, which you see all the time. The other one is stationary, sitting on my computer desk, and I use it as a webcam. That one is plugged into my Elgato capture card via HDMI, and it makes my camera footage whenever I'm streaming or guest hosting on another podcast like Daily Tech News Show. 
it looks so pretty. It just looks beautiful. And I always get compliments about how good my camera looks because I'm using it as a webcam. So my one problem with it was solved with some third party equipment. And I use these cameras practically every single day. This is one of those products that I 100% recommend if you are on the market for just a small little vlogger friendly camera, or if you want to invest money in a really good live streaming setup, like, yes, it's very niche. It's very vlogger friendly, but if that's your thing, this is so much easier to use than a big hefty camera like I'm currently recording on here. That one is a Sony a7R II. It's very big and very heavy. So <laughs> big, big change when I go to this teeny tiny thing that barely weighs like two pounds. Now I have not done many camera or lens reviews on my channel, but if you wanna see more of this kind of content, comment, let me know. Huge props to everybody who supports me over on places like Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, or right here on YouTube via the join button, which is brand new, it's down below. All of y'all get access to various exclusive perks. So thank you so much. And thanks again to my s'mores for subscribing and for watching. I'm Shannon Morse and I will see you soon. Bye y'all.